Sitting in the same segment as the Suzuki Vitara, the Jeep Renegade and the Opel Mokka, the Sanyong Tivoli XLV is the most expensive of the lot of them, but what you're paying for there is a 720 litre boot. Now in terms of brand, that's personal preference. In terms of style, she's got the looks. But for the extra money, is she worth it? One of the winning points that this XLV has is that 720 liters in the boot. That's practicality, it's versatile as well. It's got a nice interior, plastics are hard, and you can see it'd be a good family choice. Legroom to the back is ample, and here to the front, there's a wealth of space around me. I have to say, when the Tivoli proper first came out in 2015, I was quite impressed by it. The XLV, however, has endeared me even more to it, and it's fresh as well to the Irish marker, and it actually turns heads. It's probably the nicest looking Sanyong that there is. And then the infotainment system, again, trust me on this, apart from the Tivoli proper, this is the best that you're gonna get from Sanyong. The good news is there's plenty of standard stuff available with the car, which makes it a little bit more attractive. Now in terms of price, we're over the 25,000 euro. We're looking in around 25 and a half thousand euro. And of course, if you want all wheel drive or four wheel drive on it, then you will pay a little bit more on top of that as well. Traditionally, Sanyong have quite a good four wheel drive and off road ability. And I suppose that's a nice thing to have. Now I'm in two wheel drive version of it. And it's not bad at all, surprisingly. Now, let's have a look down here at the gearbox. I'm driving with an automatic six-speed gearbox. It's one of the few kind of complaints that I have with the car. What happens is it holds on to gears a little bit too long, and you want for it to change quicker and smoother. Now, safety is an issue that we've had in the past with Sanyang. Not that the cars were unsafe, but it was kind of difficult to get your hands on end cap figures. Now I know that in this car they have actually thrown a lot of extra safety equipment into it. You've got great handling equipment, you've got great brake equipment and things like that as well. I'm surrounded here by seven airbags, that's good. Okay, and a nice touch as well for those of you who are not good at hill starts is hill start assist, which trust me folks, it stops you from rolling back, it'll let you move forward, and that's nice too. Remember, Sanyong only re-entered the market in 2013. So I imagine over the next few years, there will be plenty of money spent on, let's say, marketing budgets, advertising budgets, etc. They need to get the name out there. They need to get more bums in seats and more people test driving. I'm surprised at how much I like this. Although, not really. I drove that Tivoli proper, and that surprised me more. Overall, though, in terms of family cars, it's not a bad one.